Welcome back to Behind the Scenes. As I now dive into part two of our recent cast gathering in Tennessee and Kentucky. We had a quick opportunity after the day was finished with the signings to go back, check into our hotel and get cleaned up a bit, freshen up for our evening. And this was the murder mystery evening. Uh, as we arrived, there was this really fun set of cutouts outside surrounded by hay bales. So uh, we all said we couldn't, we couldn't not take a moment to stick our heads through these fun little Charlie Brown cutouts and have a, a moment of fun. For those of you who saw me talking about what was gonna be happening there before, and I said this murder mystery and I had no idea how it was going to go, what was happening, what are, whether we were spectators or involved. Uh, so it was really literally the night before that we got an email with a script. It was like, what do you mean a script? We're, we are the murder mystery? So we were, wholly unprepared, but but uh, it uh, it was just something that we all kind of jumped into and did our best to be entertaining. I think some of it was based upon the fact that we were, due to the strike, in terms of what we could do, we had some limitations. So I think that the organizer thought that this was something that could be created that might be fun for the people who are participating and, and coming to to see us at, at the dinner. And we did speak a bit and answer a few questions that we get regularly. And then we sort of dove into this, this murder mystery and each created these, tried to create these characters where we were then uh, going to the various different tables and people could ask us questions relative to who the murderer was, where we were, what we witnessed and it was a little bit of a way for us to interact with folks, although we were not interacting as ourselves. So we have no idea how it was received. Some people seemed to really enjoy it. Others seemed a little confused or perhaps it wasn't what they were hoping for that evening. Uh, so if people didn't enjoy it, you know, that that's the type of thing that we take away. And if we're asked to do something like that again, we might say, you know, we're not sure that that was uh, the favorite thing for, for the fan experience. But I also think that I was under the impression that the majority of people who attended the murder mystery also attended one of the meet and greets. So they would have other opportunities to speak one-on-one -on -one with us and get some pictures and things signed. So the dinners generally are not about signing or pictures or things like that. So, uh, but if someone only attended that dinner, I could see how they might be confused about what am I doing and why is this it? So we take all of this information and we don't organize the events, so, but we do our best to give input to people who are putting together events to uh, give them the benefit of what we have found um, most speaks to our fans when we have these kinds of functions. The next morning there was a breakfast and we were all at that. And at that point, it was a bit spontaneous, but Cami was sort of explaining something about how mornings went on the set and going from makeup and then into the filming. And we, we kind of all ended up doing this sort of improvisation about how the filming of a scene works and how the camera gets set up and how the blocking goes and where the lights will be and how the mic works and how you have to repeat your action and and who's pushing the camera along on a dolly and how that track is and how the microphone needs to be placed. So uh, we spent a few minutes uh, all just jumping in and participating in this little reenactment of of a, a taste of what it's like for us when we were filming a scene. And I, I hope people enjoyed that. Uh, so we spent a little bit of time talking with people, answering some questions, and then the breakfast ended and we proceeded on to a full day of uh, meet and greet again back in, in our little different spaces in the little Western town and uh, talking with people and signing autographs and taking pictures and all of that. And that was how our second day rolled out. We had the evening off, so we gathered once again to go about an hour from Mayfield to another wonderful restaurant and had a really fun dinner together there. Went back, got all their sleep, got up in the morning, packed up all our stuff again, and we all headed back 
to Nashville, and then it was time to get ready to head to the riverboat dinner cruise. We gathered a couple of hours before the riverboat cruise uh, to make sure that we had time for some extra meet and greet because the timeline was very tight on the boat and we wanted to make sure that we had time to see everybody who had a ticket. And if we didn't have time for everybody actually on the boat, then we wanted to allow people to come a bit early and do that. So we spent a couple hours on the dock. Hi everybody, so I'm out here in Nashville with Katie. Katie Rogers, hello. Yeah. So she's about to come and do the General Jackson uh, riverboat cruise here with the Waltons. And uh, do you have a message for all the fans on my YouTube? Well, I'm so excited. You know, I hang out with you guys here in Nashville from 11 to 12 weekdays, watching the Waltons and enjoying my lunch and talking to you guys and hearing your great stories. So. Keep it country and keep it tuned to the Waltons. It's great to see you all here in Nashville. After the two hours on the dock, we all proceeded to board the boat. So here we all are heading to the boat. We're getting on the boat! Yeah, we're getting on the Come plane. join us! Come on! The Waltons are going to be late. The Waltons are going to be late and we're not going to be able to get on the boat. Don't miss the boat, everybody. Come, John. <laughs> And here is the General Jackson. What a great looking boat. It was such fun. As we got onto the boat, I caught Eric and his wife, Cindy, getting some pictures taken of them while the sun was still out. So I decided to grab a shot of them and then jump in a shot myself and then just take this moment of video of the river because I knew once we got inside, it would go dark and we would not have a chance to shoot anything outside because you wouldn't be able to see it. Now inside the boat, it was set up for uh, a buffet and everybody was at their tables. So thought I'd show you a little bit of what the room was like. Uh, we were on one end with our table and there was a stage behind where there were various different items that were gonna be auctioned off for charity. Uh, we grabbed a quick dinner before things started and then as everyone else had a chance to eat I went and took a little bit of a tour around the boat to show you all what the boat looked like and also a chance for you to see the gathered crowd and for them to get to give you a wave. All the people are waving okay and I'm taking you on a little tour so we're going. This is all the people who are seated for dinner and you can see out the side of the boat. So we are about to have dinner and then um, not really have a show, but you know, talk with people and sign some things. So just wanted you to feel like you were part of the evening. Then we were also, uh, as people were finishing eating and before we started the rest of the meet and greet and let people again that we hadn't been able to see out on the dock, uh, those people have an opportunity to come through and say hello and get things signed and pictures taken. Uh, so before that started, we just did a little bit of a QA. and a you, you don't see me at all because I'm behind the camera and I had a microphone out in the in, amongst all the, the fans and was picking up questions from people out in the house uh, that we were then all answering. But uh, in a couple of cases, Eric was asked about the missing children uh, in one of our reunion movies. So he took a moment to answer that. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I think we're just bad parents. Uh, I, I think Child Protective Services came in, took a look at us, and said, You guys are not that. We're taking them away. Podcasting. And we've said it before, uh, but it comes up a lot in these kinds of uh, movies. Uh, but, uh, it basically was when we were doing these reunion shows, um, they gave us a script, as they would always do, and we had a reading, which was very nice, and we appreciated that. Um, and we, we, we read the script together, and I, I remember coming to the, the producers afterwards and saying, um, I, I appreciate the scene that we have of, of talking about Virginia dying and, and referring to it, but do you know, we, we had a son named Charlie. <laughs> And um, they looked they looked a little dumbfounded, and they said, oh, don't worry about it, no one will remember. <laughs> and I said, well, I think you're underestimating our fans. And then stories were being shared about some of the silly things that would go on. Uh, someone asked about 
whether I was actually pregnant at the time that I was on the show, which I was not. My son was born um, a number of years after the show ended. And so I was talking about wearing that padding. And of course, Leslie um, had to wear the padding as well for uh, at least one episode, one one of her children. I don't know if she if we saw her pregnancy for the second one, but um, so she was talking about. We both were how uncomfortable that padding was, and it would be hot and heavy and all of that. And she was kind of sharing stories about just getting silly. And Cammy, uh, Cammy ex then took a moment to explain to the crowd about dealing with just keeping our energy up while we're filming and so a lot of the silly things that we do. I think what's important to remember is that days were long <laughs> and, and we might, you know, the adults, the adult actors could be there 12, 14 hours a day and it takes hours and hours to shoot a scene that lasts a couple minutes. So you spend a lot of time sitting and waiting and then you have to be on the scene and have all this energy and lots of hot and lots of, and you're arguing and it's hard to keep that energy up and goofy behavior is an excellent way to do it, whether it's messing around with the pretend baby or it's stabbing a, a padded belly with a with a knitting needle. Being being ridiculous <coughs> is a way to make each other laugh, keep the energy up, keep the mood light so that when we do film, it feels like we just showed up and we haven't been doing the same thing for you know hours and hours. I believe we did successfully get a chance to say hello and meet and chat just for a moment or two with everybody who attended that wanted to take that opportunity. And we there was an auction while this was going on at times. And then we wrapped up with a few words from each of us and then a final, I we gathered all up onto the stage so that everyone there could get a photo or a little bit of video of us all together up on the stage to be able to take away as um, a souvenir of their time with us on the boat. That wrapped up the weekend of events. We all headed back to the hotel and gathered for a final little, you know, uh, snack and, and drink and, and, and a chance to say, goodbye to each other before we all scattered in the morning to go home or go on to other places that we had scheduled in our travels. So it was a wonderful opportunity for all of us. We love whenever we have time together and these combine are an opportunity for us to spend time together along with meeting a lot of you who have been so wonderful to us over the years and so supportive of the show. So we hope it's as much fun for you as it is for us to attend these events. I want to thank everyone who came out over the course of the weekend, and I want to thank all of you for continuing to watch my channel here. I'll be back with more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching.